Bacteria are everywhere. They interact with the environment using various different mechanisms. One such mechanism is a bacterial nanomachine called Type 6 secretion system. And bacteria can use it to deliver toxins into both eukaryotic and bacterial cells. The easiest way to imagine how this machine works is to imagine a spear gun. The assembly of this nanomachine starts by insertion of proteins into both membranes of the cell envelope. This initiates assembly of a base plate with a tip complex. This leads into assembly of a long sheath wrapped around an inner tube. The sheath assembly can be easily visualized in live bacterial cells using fluorescence microscopy as shown on this video for Vibrio cholera. The sheath contraction results into secretion of the inner tube, tip complex, and associated toxins. We knew that bacteria can use this nanomachine to deliver toxins into neighboring cells to kill them. But we were not sure what happens with the tip and the tube when the bacteria hit their sister cells. To address this question, we took advantage of the fact that the tube and the tip are required for sheath assembly. As you can see on these pictures, the cells that lack tube or tip assemble no sheaths whatsoever. We wonder what would happen if we mix those type 6 secretion negative cells lacking both tip and tube, we call them recipient cells, with secretion competent cells, we call them donor cells. As you can see on these videos, indeed after mixing the green recipient cells with red donor cells, dynamic sheath assembly was restored. This provides a clear evidence that both tube and tip are delivered from one cell to another and importantly that these components can be reused for new type 6 secretion system assembly. We wondered if such protein exchange could provide an advantage to cells during bacterial competition. To test if two strains can collaborate to kill a third strain as a consequence of protein exchange, we generated a toxin-sensitive reporter strain. Lysis of the reporter can be easily detected by an enzyme-induced change in color of a substrate. When we mix secretion-competent donor cells, which however lack the toxin with the reporter, we observed no lysis. Similarly, no lysis was observed when the reporter was mixed with cells which expressed the toxin, however did not assemble the type 6 secretion system because they lacked tube or tip components. Interestingly, only when all three strains, donor, recipient and reporter, were mixed together, reporter cells clearly lysed. This suggests that cooperation of two strains can result in killing and lysis of a third strain, and thus this interstrain collaboration may be useful in polymicrobial communities. Many toxins that bacteria secrete block protein synthesis. This may lead to a decreased defense mechanism. Indeed, when we incubated cells in presence of an antibiotic that blocks protein synthesis, we observed that activity of the type 6 secretion system decreased. This was likely due to loss of the secreted proteins that cannot be replaced by new synthesis. Interestingly, when we mix such inhibited cells with cells that actively assemble type 6 secretion system, we observed restored sheath assembly. In summary, we provide a clear evidence that the secreted components of the bacterial type 6 secretion system are efficiently exchanged between neighboring cells. And this has certain advantages. For example, two strains may cooperate to kill a third strain, or if a sister cell is hit by a toxin, the neighbors can help out. Therefore, we believe that this friendly fire is beneficial for the bacterial community.